In this video, we'll be going over your automation on an AFS Pro 700 display. To start off with, you can see we have a little Kanban icon here and we have an A in there. Typically there's a one. To get that A, you wanna go up to your overhead switch panel and you wanna press and hold the top half of your automation switch. So if we press that and go back to our display, you can see there's a one there now. But if we press and hold it, now we have an A. Next, we have a cross section of the combine here. You have your rotor speed RPMs, your cage vane position, your concave opening position, your pre sieve, upper sieve, and lower sieves position, your fan speed RPM, your engine load, and you also have bushels per hour and bushels per acre. Next, we can select our crop type here. This is just any of the crops that you have set up on your display. Then we have a button that will take us straight to our automation settings. And we also have a button up top here that will take us straight back to the run screen. Next, we have these funnels. And what these funnels do is they let you know how, your, how the combine is running. These will fill up with green and then it'll get to the black arrows and then yellow and then red. What the black arrows are, are basically trigger points for when automation will begin to change settings. Then we have these icons here. You have your rotor loss, grain quality, tailings volume, your MOG or material other than grain, and your sieve loss. On each one of these, you can select it and you can adjust your sensitivity. So this is set at 65 say everything's running good and we're not having any problems but we're running at a 65 percent for our sensitivity and so we're constantly getting warnings and this is constantly going into the yellow and red but we don't really have any issues there's no need to adjust anything you could come in here and you could lower your sensitivity that way it takes a little bit more for this to trigger to give you a warning if you're having issues and you think this should be giving you a warning sooner you'll click on it and you'll increase it. So to change it, you just want to click anywhere on here, whether you want to increase or decrease, and then you would press enter. If you by mistake adjust these, you can just press X and it'll go back to where it was, back to 65, how we had it. Next, we'll press the back button and we'll go to our automation tab. And now we can see we have several tabs for settings. On the basic tab, you have your crop type, which again, that's just any of the crop types you have set up on your display. Then you have your working condition. Working condition is basically the name you have set for all of your automation settings. You can set this to be whatever you want, or if there's preset ones, you can hit select and select from any of the ones that you already have uh, set up on your display. Next, you have your strategy. You have best grain quality, which will give you the best grain quality. Then you have performance, which will allow your combine to run the best that it can. Then you have maximum throughput, which will allow your combine to run through the maximum amount of crop that it can. And then you have fixed throughput. And what fixed throughput is, say you only want to do 3,000 bushels per acre, you can set that. And so your combine will only be able to run 3,000 bushels per acre. Next, you have your target ground speed. Say you have a maximum speed that you want your combine to be running through for every single uh, operator when they are running this crop. So you would set that to whatever maximum ground speed you'd want. Same with maximum engine load. Say you have something that's a little harder to run through your machine, so you'd want to lower the maximum engine load so that way you're not damaging anything. Next, we'll go to our advanced tab. Here, you have your initial settings. You can select between automatic and current setup. Current setup will be operator set settings and automatic will be the last settings that automation had saved for the crop that you're currently running. Next you have adjustment frequency and this will just adjust the frequency at which it takes samples from one of the many sensors in the machine and adjusts settings. Uh, low is every 40 seconds, medium is every 20 seconds and high is also every 20 seconds but it also takes two seconds 
of uh, grain camera readings to uh, adjust your settings. Then you have your threshing condition. Threshing condition is just the aggressiveness of your thresher. Typically, at the beginning of the season, you want to start off on either medium or hard. If you're running really dry grain that is really easy to just shell, you can do easy, but typically if you're running through anything that's wet or green, you want medium to hard. Next, you have your maximum rotor speed, which is just the maximum speed you want your rotor to run. You would click on this and just enter in an RPM that you'd want. And then you have your sieve load configuration. So if we were to set that to on and press back and go back to our run screen, you can see we have this little sieve load scale here now. So that's all the sieve load configuration is. It'll just put that scale there. On each one of these two, you can press the eye icon and it'll give you a quick rundown of what that is. Next, we'll go to our sensitivities tab. And here you have rotor loss, sieve loss, tailings, MOG, broken grain, and feed rate sensitivity. These, again, much like on how our run screen was, how we adjusted the sensitivities, it's just uh, all of them kind of where you can see the sensitivity that they're set at without having to click on those icons. Same as before, you would click on this and you would select anywhere on this scale. You can use the arrows or press somewhere in order to set them. And you could press enter to save it or if you adjust it and you don't want to save it, you would just press X and it'll go back to where you had it saved. If we press down, you can see we have the reset sensitivities button. That'll just reset everything back to the uh, factory default settings. Next, in our headland tab, this here is much like the uh, automatic crop settings where you have fan speed, upper sieve, lower sieve, but on this one we also have pre-sieve. This is just the settings that your combine will go to when your head is raised above your maximum work height, which you would do when you get to the end of a field to your headlands. Typically, we recommend you only adjust your fan speed because for all of your sieves, it takes more time for them to raise and lower than it does for you to turn around. So to adjust these, you would just click on them and you can select anywhere on the scale again, either you can decrease speed or increase speed. And this is just for uh, where you currently, where your RPM is currently sitting, you can decrease 500 RPM or increase 500 RPM. And again, you know, you click anywhere on the scale, press enter to save or press X if you don't want to save. Same here, you can either go down 10 or go up 10 from where you are currently set when you enter your headland. And it's the same with the other two. Next, we have our status tab. And all this is, is the status of every single one of your uh, sensors that are in the combine. You can click the arrow, go down, see you have a couple more. So for whatever reason, uh, your combine and your display are not recognizing that that sensor is there, meaning like you have a broken wire or a loose wire, then you would get like an X here instead of the green check mark. So you can see here, all of our sensors are good and they're communicating properly. Next, we have our ranges tab. Here you can select your crop type, you can select your strategy again, and your threshing condition again. But we also have ranges that we can set. So if we click on our fan speed range, you can see default is 1000 for minimum and maximum default is 1150. So you can see here, what we have it set to is 1100 RPM for minimum and 1150 for maximum. So you can change these by entering in any number. And again, you know, for your maximum also, you can just select it, enter in whatever number you want. And you can also reset it back to default, which would be these numbers here. Or you can enter in whatever you want and press OK, and it'll save. It's the same with uh, your sieves. You can come in, you have reset. You can see what the default is for minimum and maximum, and then what you have it currently set to. And again, you just select it enter in whatever you want you can press enter to save or x out of it to not save and then hit ok and same thing with your upper and lower save ranges and then if you go down you also have your rotor speed range and rotor vein range and you can also uh, reset all your ranges back to their default ranges and here you can also 
turn on or off your ranges if you want your combine to operate within specific ranges you can set it on if it's not something that really is important to you you can turn it to off and then you can see all the ranges went away so if we turn it back on all of our ranges come back next in the bottom right hand corner we can press the arrow scroll over here we have info and you can see recommended combine settings for our current crop type so if you have any questions about how you have everything set up you can come in here and kind of see what this all says to kind of you know help guide your judgment to how you have your combine set next if we press escape you can see it takes us back to the run screen but if we go back to automation and we have our info here you can see we have that little a there if we go up and we press our automation switch to turn it off now we have the one and we also have a button that will take us straight to our automatic crop settings and that's a quick rundown of the automation system on an AFS Pro 700 display.